I can't believe in the year 2024, we're getting brand new Transformers animated figures, and on top of that, them being very good. Excuse the pun, but this is how strong of a legacy animated has on the Transformers community. Um, but today, let's unbox and take a look at the Transformers Legacy United animated Optimus Prime. But before we do that, hey, hit that subscribe button, helps me out a lot, and let me know what your favorite Optimus Prime toy is. Mine's probably the original animated one, or I really like the classic one a lot. Um, but anyway, uh, let's uh, get him open and take a look at him. Now that we got Optimus over here, we could do a little, quick little turnaround of the box. And I'm still impressed with the Transformers Legacy United artwork. It's so, like, stand, it's, like it sticks out. Like, I love it so much. I got him right there on the, uh, and his alt mode right there. We got, the, again, that awesome just artwork on the side. I cannot wait for Magmatron. I really can't wait for Magmatron. We got Adam to be back there. And then the 40th logo down here, alt mode, robot mode. Again, they're getting rid of um, BIOS, which is weird, but okay. Um, and that side here with that beautiful artwork of Prime and just that awesome face. But that's uh, that's the box room. Yeah, let's get a quick little look at that face stroke. And that's definitely Animated Prime. That looks so good. I mean, it is a very much a stylized version of Animated Prime, which is already a stylization of Transformers anyway. But this looks just incredible. But let's break him out, shall we? So let's break him out. I'm very excited for this figure. Ever since he got first announced, I'm a big fan of animated. Um, Foam movie was really good. Prowl was... Prowl. Prowl was okay, honestly. Um, I'm not a big fan of motorcycles outside of the Junkions. Because I always have a hard time. They're just, they're just kind of a pain in the ass. Just a trans... Because they're just so fiddly sometimes and it's just a pain. And I got that open. And the piece de resistance. There's Prime. So that's how he comes. Just kind of splayed out like that. That looks really nice. The axe looks awesome. The light bar looks really good. Not seeing any paint chips or anything, which is very good. And then he's got his uh, instructions right there. So let's get him all clipped out and all armored up and everything. Yeah, so in the box he's got his light bar, which is right, I'm assuming, right there. So does that clip in? Yeah, that clip's in right in his back. Of course he's got his big, his big axe, which looks really good actually. Does it do anything else? I don't think so. Oh, it extends! Oh, okay. Does it do anything else? It looks kind of... Oh, yeah, so that's him. There's that beautiful axe. That head sculpt looks great. He feels really good in hand. That bends down like that. Head swivel like that. That axe is just super impressive. That axe looks really good. And then it's got a thing on the back. Is this a blast effect port? Are you kidding me? Are we doing this right now? Yeah, so you can get a little, little fire action going. That's really cool, actually. But you know, he's very poseable so far. He's got, he cleans up very well. There's not a lot, it's not very hollow. He feels good in the hand, so it's a, that's even better. We got wrists and everything, and wrists over here. But no, that looks... That looks really good. That's, yeah, that's animated Optimus Prime. That looks really good. Anyway, uh, let's get him transformed. We can check out that, uh, that car motor, the, the fire, he's a fire, yeah, he's a fire engine. Get that all going. So let's go.
And uh, there's Prime in that truck mode, and the transformation is, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's Optimus, it's, these are the arms, those are the legs, it's not that complicated. Um, I do like that they cheated with the front wheels, because animated Prime doesn't have the front wheels here, he just has the two back wheels, and it's all, like, hovering, and they kind of cheated that way doing that, and I really like that, I think that's really cool. Um, the only issue with the transformation I had was trying to get all of this all connected because this is just on a hinge and it like connects up here and then trying to get all of this connected was kind of a pain but that was about it that's literally about it um his axe of course can just go right there that's it that's it for weapon storage just right there one other thing i did want to add during transformation you can all see it during transformation is that he does have a full dashboard and Cheering wheel in here just molded in and I think that was a really cool touch because they didn't have to do that but I liked it that was really cool but no he's like a decent like decent sized um he holds together really well he rolls pretty good so you need him roll but no that does the job for me I love the light bar on top of the light bar it looks really good and it, no that's all I can say about it it's this is truck mode looks really good looks really good actually so Let's get him back. Robot mode. Let's do some comparisons. Let's go grab B and uh, Prowl and look at those three together. Let's go. Now the comparison I've been waiting to do for a while is all three of these guys. Prowl, Bumblebee, Optimus. And I feel like Optimus is like a little bit too big. I, I don't, I don't know. Or maybe these guys are too small. Optimus feels so much bigger than both of them. Like he really did. He feels so much bigger. Um... It also makes me appreciate how much I pre I like I like the more anime styled heads than the one that came on Prowl because the one that came on Prowl is like animated, but it's also I think it's a little bit too heavy on the G1, whereas these guys are clearly animated faces. But no, yeah, no, they stack up. They look really good together. Um, hopefully, we get Ratchet. Hopefully, we get other ones. Fingers crossed. I don't have the bulkhead. I don't have the prime bulkhead to go with these guys. That's something I, I passed on. I was not giving you prime generation stuff. Um, but no, yeah, they look great. Awesome. Can't wait to make a little display. And hopefully, again, we get more animated. And we watch YouTube. Hasbro make more animated stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do final thoughts for uh, animated prime here. So some final thoughts on uh, Legacy United animated Optimus Prime. I think he's really good. <laughs> um, he's very poseable. The transformation's fun. He's got the huge axe he comes with, the huge axe with the clear. It has the back here for the uh, blast effect part. He has a great silhouette. He's, again, super poseable. He can do anything you want. The head sculpt you can't go wrong with. And he looks good with Bumblebee and Prowl. Like, he does stick out, like, a little bit. Like, these guys stick out. Because they are animated, and animated was already so stylized. So these are like a take on like the stylization of them, but their own, if that makes sense. But no, I really, I think he's really good. Now I know why he's sold out everywhere. So if you like the video, hey, subscribe. Helps me out a lot. I like watching the numbers go up. Also, uh, let me know, uh, what's your favorite Prime? What's your favorite Optimus Prime toy? I don't know the toys. I'm just playing with the axe. It's, really, it's just like, it's just a good axe. Um... But yeah, that's been animated Optimus Rhyme. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys next video. Let's go.